In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a dot to dot interior for your Amazon KDP business. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at specifically the Kindle Direct Publishing platform. But before we get into that, can I just ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button? It'd be greatly appreciated. We are still going for that goal of a thousand subscribers by the 1st of June. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I'm sure you guys have seen my other videos where I've made word search interiors and uh, maze interiors and coloring book interiors and how they're all part of that activity niche, which is very, very trending at the moment due to this lockdown. Now, another sort of game that ties into that is dot to dot grids. They are very, very popular at the moment. And yeah, as you will see in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it using only free software. But first off, let's just start off by going into Amazon and having a look at some of the BSRs for some of these dot to dot books. So to start off, let's just search up dot to dot books. And let's have a look at what comes up. So the first one that comes up is this greatest dot to dot book in the world, Quarantine Gift, Relaxing Puzzle. So they've obviously tried to tie in that uh, quarantine and lockdown and put that into one of their keywords because for people that are wanting stuff to do during quarantine. So that's quite intelligent of them. And as you can see, it has a BSR of 27,334. And if we click on this and if we have a look inside, have a look at what kind of stuff they've got and start off with, it's got a rules and regulations, how to do these dot to dot books. And yeah, is there any more? Yeah, we've got some of the images here. So as you can see, just as a normal dot to dot would be, a couple of dots and in the end it will create an image. So let's just copy that BSR of, what was it? 27, 27,752. So 27,752, click book and calculate. So they're making 156 sales per month. That's a good amount of sales, will make a good living for them if they have a few books selling like this. If we have a look at some other books that we've got, so have a little scroll down, got this one selling for $10.88, ultimate dot to dot extreme puzzle challenge. And it looks like it's got an animal theme to it with a fox on the front. And if we have a look at the BSR for this one, it has a BSR of 7,245. So very, very popular niche at the moment. And obviously if we have a look at how many results we get, we get 9,000 different results. So it's obviously quite saturated. It's not, well, it's not too saturated, but it's quite popular, but not as like saturated, I'd say, as like lined notebooks, for example. So you can niche down, create animal dot to dot books, if we search up that animal dot to dot books, oh, it only comes up with a thousand different results. And these are getting BSRs of 16,000, 7,000, 44,000. So yeah, something I would definitely recommend to all you guys. So to create these, it follows a, a different sort of process and start off with, you're gonna to want to go and find your image. I'm gonna go find my images in a website called Vecteasy. I'll be leaving it in the link uh, below. And it's one I'm sure you've heard me talk about before. You can download .ai files and you can also download a JPEG files as well. So let's just search tractors as I think that'll be a good one. And it might, it may take a bit of time to find the right one, but yeah, just keep going until you find the best one to fit your style. So yeah, this one here looks good for me. And all you've got to do, click the free download button, wait for it to download. And then once it has, it should come up in the bottom left here. Yes, it has. Open that up, open the folder up, and it comes with a JPEG file. Now the next website you're gonna to want to go to is one called imgbb.com. Then click on the start uploading button here, and then get that, tran uh, that tractor file that you downloaded, and just open that up in here. So as you can see, it has it downloaded here. Click the button upload, and then, when it's on this sort of menu, just click on the tractor there and it will come up in a bigger sort of image. Then what you're gonna to want to do is right click it and then copy image address. Then go into the actual dot to dot software itself. It's called picturedots.com. Once again, I'll be leaving in a link below. Uh, and then it will come up with this menu here. You're gonna to want to click make puzzle. 
and now there's all sorts of different bars and options for you to click up here and the one we're going to want to click on is load image. Now it's going to ask us to type in the image location so that was that copy image address that we got so just paste that in click get image and it will come up with the track to here and then it all just comes down to drawing on the dot so I'm just going to do that now quickly so just draw on each dot so one two and yeah just follow the same process leave a bit of a gap And then yeah, once you have it how you like it with whatever sort of size gap you want, you're gonna want to click on this drop down here where it says show image and just click hide image. And there we have our, well, dot to dots. So the next thing you're gonna want to do with this software, it doesn't look like you can download it as a PNG to like copy into Canva, the software we're gonna be using. So what you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna want to screenshot it. So for me to screenshot on Mac, it's command shift Four, and just drag over the screenshot and then it will just paste it to the desktop and then now we have our dot to dot grid itself you're going to want to go over to the software that you're using so Canva is the one I'm going to be showing you today it's a great one it's free uh, completely free to use and you can add as many pages as you want and it's perfect for creating these sorts of interiors so once you have your six by nine inch interior open you're going to want to go and find that screenshot that you've taken so I'm just going to go and find it in the desktop and there we have it we have got it uploaded into the interior now it might look quite small like you can't see it but trust me when it comes to uploading it because if we click the enlargement tool here we can clearly see the numbers a lot easier and see all the dots that we've drawn so now that we have our tractor in there you can do all sorts of different things however you like it so we can add a title at the top whether we want it to be like we had it with our maze interior we could put level one at the top uh, depending on what kind of book we want to create or we can add small images I've already got I think one downloaded from Pixabay a small sheep so like a farm animal that we can just put in the different corners adds a bit of variety and makes it a bit more interesting and if you wanted to draw in a few more features that we couldn't use in the dot to dot on the tractor, I think we could probably do that. So if we got any shapes here, so we could drag in a, a shape for like the window up here or for the wheel down there, however you want to do it. So I might just add one in there, drag in another shape, make it a bit smaller, put it there. Just move it across a bit and then I might I want to add in a window at the top so I'm just going to drag that out make it a bit smaller uh, yeah just change that change it however you want so I'm going to change it to grey and yeah that was perfectly fine to me that is something that I would be happy with uploading onto the Kindle Direct Publishing platform and honestly, I think it could sell because we would niche down so we could create like a farm animal uh, dot to dot notebook or a tractor dot to dot book. You've got all sorts of different things you can create from this. So yeah, maybe if I was, I'm, I'm personally not going to be uploading this one, but maybe if I was, maybe we would have spent a bit more time on perfecting each dot and making it as good as I can. So I hope you guys found this video useful and I hope this is something you can implement to earn more money on the low content book business. If you'd like to leave a comment on how it's going for you or if you have a question for me, leave it down below. I'll be replying to all your comments and yeah, hope you have a great rest of your day. And once again, hit that like and subscribe button, it means the world to me. And well, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.